guys, what's going on? East Coast Johnny here, and uh, I'm back with a truck driving episode, but it is not American Truck Simulator. I am driving a 1955 Kenworth Bullnose truck and trailer. And this game is actually Grand Theft Auto 5 5N. So I'm gonna, I'll stop right here real quick and uh, watch the staff and this bridge here. Turn right here, it looks like. Look at this truck, guys. We are hauling a Pepsi Cola 1946 to 55 trailer and truck. I'll show you the truck after the video. If you guys want to see it? You can stick around. Hope we don't jackknife and uh, lose our trailer here. Well, sorry about that. Okay. So we are driving this cool truck. And we're going to make a delivery all the way over to uh, a store in Toledo Bay. Very cool. I'm going to leave a link uh, for this truck. If anybody plays um, GTA, uh, you know there's uh, GTA mods and everything. And you can download this and uh, install it on uh, your computer. So yeah, it's a nice sunny day out here. We're in uh, San Andreas. And we're going to take a ride uh, from the port all the way to, uh, I think it's Polito Bay, right? So, you got to be careful because this traffic in this game, these artificial intelligence drivers are terrible. Or it's just as bad as uh, ATS. Everybody, I'll come up on my on my on my, on my side there. No, no, do what you're trying to do. I am using uh, a controller. I don't have a uh, steering wheel setup for this game. I don't. I know there's uh, probably a. Uh, Probably some sort of uh, setup. But you can use the uh, string wheel. Uh, I'm not using it for this. Alright, we're going to go this way. 
pretty sharp truck. Really nice. This is by uh, Solo. Solo modding. Phenomenal. From the rims to the truck to the, the inside of this truck. Everything is awesome. I'll show it to you at the end of the video after we make the delivery. If you want to stick around for that. Buddy, if you hit my nice 1955 truck, we're gonna we're gonna fight. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's doing okay. It is November 22. Next week, not this week. Next week, Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's getting set. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on the driving here because a lot of crazy drivers in this game. on this thing. Beautiful truck, man. As you know by my channel, man, I'm, uh, I love I love trucks. I love driving trucks. Hope you guys like this. Uh, and, uh, I'll be doing some videos on, uh, on GTA. Um, maybe some police videos. I tried LSPDFR a, a while ago, and it's just... Uh, too many updates, too many mods, and, and uh, it's just tough. So I've been trying out this uh, 5PD, as you can see up in the left-hand corner. It's on 5M through 5PD, or actually 5PD through 5M in GTA. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be trying that out where you can put in different cars. And it's a little easier, in my opinion, than, um, than doing it uh, through LSPDFR. LSPDFR is very difficult. And when they update, you guys know if you play LSPDFR at all, um, that uh, the lights go off automatically because it's daytime. That it's hard updating all these files on this uh, on this uh, LSPDFR, man. It's just hours and hours and hours of, just to get it right. And I, I give credit to uh, all the guys that play LSPDFR. You know, um, Criminal Justice for all his videos he puts out, Benzo. All the guys that, that play LSPDFR, man, uh, Jeffrey Gamer, my boy, uh, I just, everybody that puts out that um, content, man, is, is great on LSPDFR, it's just, for me, I don't have the time to be doing that, man, I just, you know, this is a much easier, easier way to do things, and uh, I know I get a lot of followers on the ATS, um, driving I get a lot more uh, videos on that or likes or watches or whatever and I'm gonna try and uh, do some more uh, trucking on here let me know in, the, in this in the um, comments if you like the Grand Theft Auto um, trucking because uh, I'll try and find some more trucks or this has a few different skins on it too and I'll try and do some more um, trucking with, with this but you know, this is really, uh, this is hard to do for this game, this truck driving, so. This is a, a nice game too. This is outdated. I'm looking forward to GTA 6 when it comes out. But right now, this is what we have. So, uh, 
but this has got so much stuff you could do on it. It's such a big map. I don't know if anybody uh, who's watching this has, uh, has played this, but if you haven't, this is a very good game to get into. Um, you know, if, if you hook up uh, with a clean version through Steam, you buy it through Steam. This is, this is a PC game. It's not on console. You can't really do this on console unless you... Uh, you know, for one single player and uh, no one bothers you, you by yourself and you just find a truck that's on there and you can do that. Um, but I think you have to steal one. At least on the computer you can spawn vehicles, you know. Okay. We'll run through the city a little bit and now I got some highway driving up ahead here. It's supposed to be a nice day out. Uh, It's harder with a controller than a steering wheel. Oh, we're running out of fuel. Oh, man. I should have fueled up. Alright, I think. I don't know. But I think if I... Let me pull over here. I can't even pull over. Hopefully it's not the trailer. But with the truck... I can go into vehicle relay options and I can just repair it and we should be alright with some more fuel. It's at 9 right now. There, yeah, 120. Alright, we should be good now to go for a while. Okay. Yep, there we go. the exhaust. Watch out, Coyote. Look at the exhaust on this, uh, when you release it and everything. I don't know what's going on with our trailer. Trailer failing. Oops. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's stuff inside? I don't know. traffic light there. It's not there usually, right? It's a, it's a mod. <laughs> I don't know if this, uh, the flat trailer. A lot of the trailers on here are locked. You know, they have like a, like a safety box and no one steals them, so you can't even use them really. There's a couple lying around, but 
Well, look at that break some easy. This is a nice, uh, this is a nice mod. This is a nice truck. This is also a traffic light. Um, you go back to one of my other videos with the Go Loco uh, police car. I think uh, I went around and I showed a couple of traffic lights on the other side over in Sandy, Sandy Shores. Hard trying to drive these things in this game. Just when you have a stream on, you gotta use like the, the thumb. I use I use the controller. I don't use the keyboard. I don't know if the keyboard would be any better. I'm not gonna try it now. Welcome to Polito Bay. Little bullet holes. <laughs> Other bullet holes in the side. Alright, we're gonna pull in here. There's a grocery store in here, I think. Pull in here. Like we're making delivery in here. Country store. We come on hitch, it's okay. How to get there? We go. Oh, try again. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to see the truck, stick around. I'm gonna uh, take it for a ride around the block. And if you want to see the truck, I'll show it to you. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And take care. Alright, for, for those of you that want to stick around, uh, this is Grand Theft Auto 5, as you know, and uh, this is much better without the uh, trailer attached. It's got a lot of options, like the lights. Pretty cool truck. It's got overhead lights, and what's cool about these overhead lights, they have it set up so uh, people actually move out of your way. They actually use caution around you. If I go over here, this guy should see how he turns turns away and slows down, stops. Very cool, very cool truck.
going to take it around the block, and then I'll get out and I'll, sh I'll show you the rest of the truck. Thank you. It is a ride, man. Nice ride. The blinkers working on it. Headlights, cab lights, all the lights work on it. This is where you're supposed to stop, right? You're not supposed to block the uh, firehouse, guys. All right, so make sure when you're driving around in real life that you don't block the fire firehouse driveway. Right? You're gonna watch that truck. Huh? Hmm. So, trailer's still over there. Uh, I was going to hook up to that other trailer uh, and show you guys that trailer too. But it's gone. So I took it. Spawned away. I'll tell you, this is where they need a traffic light, right here. Lights on? No. Get a red light? Yep. This is where they need uh, a traffic light or a green light here to show the cars turning here. Oh, see now there's a trailer there. See if we can hook up to that real quick. Oh, that guy just rear ended that guy. Whew. Oh, we could take that gas tanker too, probably. Let's see a lock on that one either. Alright, let me show you this uh, cab.
All right, if you remember, or maybe you don't, I just remembered. So to detach the trailer, uh, it's on the thumb control, not the, uh, the stick, but the, 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 the pad, the up and down pad, and you just hold it to the right. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to wash this thing so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to go into vehicle-related options. And we're going to put, well, let's repair it in case there's any issues. And then we'll wash it. Look how nice that truck is. We got our hazard lights on. Okay, let me get out and show you this thing. Close the door. All right. Right here. I know it's not that clear, but let me tell you, the rest of this truck, the rims, cab, you can change the cab. I'm gonna show you all this in a second. Got a nice Kenworth logo. Those are the, the backup lights, they light up. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on the mud flaps, but uh, hey, what else? Hmm. We've got the overhead flashing lights, right? This is a really sweet truck. Did you see the inside? I'm sure. Let me show you the inside. And I'll show you what options it has. Look at the smoke come out of there. Mine? How do we get only mine again? Alright, let's refuel it. Let's uh, fix this thing. I don't know why it dropped down all of a sudden. Okay. Look at the smoke coming out of it. Okay, so the inside, very nice, gauges, I can't move down anymore, I can look up, it's as far as I can look down, TB, I don't know why there's a TV in there, it says Highway Patrol, um, nice gauges, the back, nice American flag, sleeping area, because this is a uh, extended cab, that's it, so, let me show you the rest of it. This has a few other liveries and things you can do with it. Vehicle related options. I will go down here. The mod menu. This is to upgrade the engine. All, all the GTA cars have these that you can do certain things to them. Um, change the horn. I don't know if you can change this one. But you can. Okay, this is just regular GTA stuff. You know that, so... Okay, uh, so let's get through this. Colors, it doesn't work, it doesn't do anything, but we have liveries, guys. And with the liveries, you have Pepsi Cola livery. You have this one. Jessup. I can't see this at far away. Let me, let me move away from this other truck. This other truck is screwing me up. Okay, so you have... Oh, hold on, let me, let me make it uh, daytime. Oh, watch your eyes, watch your eyes. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. I know that could be uh, rough. Uh, let's see. So vehicle options, liveries. I'm, I'm gonna go through each one. Okay, so this is livery one. This is the Pepsi Cola livery. This is Jessup. I guess this is a uh, Ambry, Indiana. This is just like a trucking company. We have a U.S. Army. Pretty cool. Pretty cool livery. Regular uh, 
paint scheme. Mayflower. Remember uh, Mayflower removers? Mackie the mover. And back to the Pepsi. So, as far as other things you can do, there's extras. One. Take the yellow lights on and off, right? Two. What does this do? I don't even know what this one does. Something with the mud flaps, it looks like. Okay. Uh, three. So now it's a day cab instead of an extended cab. Right? It's just a day cab. Uh, put a single light on. Instead of the dual lights, right? This is going to be... I don't have a clue. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. I don't know, it does something. Uh, oh, look at that. Six. It's a spare tire on the back. Wicked cool. Wicked cool. Alright, seven. One of these is a, a headache rack. I don't know which one it is, but let's see. Oh, this is the horns. This one is horns on the front. This one is like... Uh, teeth and what does this one do oh this takes away the TV inside one of them was a headache rack Let's see there it is there it is that's pretty wicked cool and when you when you drive chain swing yeah. How cool is that? Very well detailed. Right down to the you see in between the tires right there. In between the tires next to the uh, hookup, there's a handle that's to to release and uh, hook up the uh, truck right to the trailer. Pretty cool. it. Alright guys, that's it for this truck. I'm going to leave a link where you can find it down below. Um, keep going crazy out here. And we're going to start heading back. Start heading back to where uh, we started out and Los Santos. What is this guy doing over here? Yeah, just do whatever you want. Just turn around in the middle of nowhere. Make you turn the middle of the intersection. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Crazy people out here. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Uh, as of right now, I think we have uh, 99 followers, so uh, I'd like to get over 100. It'd be nice. So uh, please subscribe to the channel when you guys get a chance. We've got some people watching, so please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Uh, that way I know I'm putting out some good stuff. So I'll All right, guys. You guys out there, take care. Stay safe, stay healthy, and this is East Coast Johnny, signing out. Peace, guys.